So this evening, ACC is proud to present its 10th Lifetime Achievement Award, sponsored by RBC. And we would like to invite Ms. Judy Lee, Vice President of Commercial Financial Services for RBC, to um, say a few words up on the stage. Unfortunately, I forgot my uh, PowerPoint presentation, <laughs> so I will just do a speech. Uh, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you and welcome to the ACC Award Gala. Personally, this is probably one of my favorite um, galas because I really enjoy listening to the stories of the winners. Because many of the stories that I've listened to, I've always learned something new, and I'm sure you will enjoy listening to the stories tonight. And on behalf of my colleagues at RBC, I'd like to um, congratulate all the winners for their achievement tonight. Because it's not easy being um, an entrepreneur. It's a lot of hard work, sacrifice, and resource. And throughout my career, I've worked with many entrepreneurs, and many have told me they deal with many different challenges but yet it's one of the most rewarding and satisfying role because they get to see their dreams and goals come to life. And at RBC, we like to see ourselves as a partner to them to help them grow their business and of course to see their dreams and goals come to life. And we see a lot of pride in doing that. We also have a sense of pride in helping ACCE to recognize the life works of many of the very talented pool of entrepreneurs who have made an immense impact in the Canadian business. So we are very proud to be sponsoring the Lifetime Achievement Awards again this year. Because the Lifetime Achievement Award recognizes outstanding citizens for their contribution, humanitarian, and philanthropic activities. And it's also to help them be able to um, enhance their overall development in the Chinese Canadian um, business communities. And it recognizes the individual for their talents in terms of uh, their vision, their ability, and their determination. So it is such an honor for me to be presenting this year 2015 Lifetime Achievement Award winner. And the winner is the Honorable Philip Lee. Congratulations. Born in Hong Kong in 1944, the Honorable Mr. Philip Lee arrived in Winnipeg in 1962 to further his education at the University of Manitoba. In 1967, he began his career with the city of Winnipeg as a research chemist. During his career, he has made significant contributions to his adopted city. Well, as you know, the early pioneers of the Chinese community when they came here, they were quite excluded from the mainstream of society in Canada. And therefore, uh, decisions were made when they are sitting outside instead of sitting inside to help make the decisions for the government. I want to participate in that process. I want to be part of the society so that I have a say for my future. I have a say for the future of my children and grandchildren. And then therefore, the Chinese will have uh, certain input into part of the multicultural life of Canada. In 1977, he was appointed to the Human Rights Council of Manitoba, where he became chair of the Policy Review Committee for Human Rights. He played a leading role in building the Dynasty Building, the Chinese Gate and Garden, and the Mandarin Building, which have developed into centers of Chinese community life. Mr. Lee and his wife wanted to bring the delicious flavor of Chinese cuisine to Manitoba. So they opened Lee's Garden and the first full-sized Mongolian-style grill in Winnipeg. For the past 30 years, Mr. Lee has been a business development consultant, sharing his entrepreneurial skills with both established businesses and startups. Along the way, he has also mentored many new immigrants to Canada. 
Since my childhood days, I always believed that uh, whatever I get from society, I have to return my favors back to society. Mr. Lee has received several notable awards. In 1999, he was inducted into the Order of Canada. In 2002, he received the Queen's Golden Jubilee Medal. In 2011, the University of Manitoba awarded him an Honorary Doctor of Laws degree. And on August 4, 2009, Mr. Lee was installed as Manitoba's 24th Lieutenant Governor. Please join us in recognizing the Honorable Philip S. Lee, Lieutenant Governor of the Province of Manitoba, as the recipient of the 2015 Association of Chinese Canadian Entrepreneurs Lifetime Achievement Award. of ACCE. First, I'd like to thank the Executive Committee of ACCE and the Management Board to have been nominated for this Lifetime Award. In addition, I'd like to thank His Her Honor, the Honorable Elizabeth Dowswell, who has agreed to uh, known to be the AT Cabinet, such a good-looking good lady on my right-hand side. As you know, as Lieutenant Governor, uh, by the way, I should be remiss if I don't address the senators, the uh, members of parliament, members of the uh, Ontario uh, MMPs, uh, city councillors, and uh, the council general, the ex His Excellency Mr. Xu Ping, and the Senator uh, uh, Victor. But as you know, the Lieutenant Governor is often invited to participate in functions in hospitals, universities, and uh, even grade two students. One time I was invited to speak to a group of grade three students. And the young boy was so excited, went home to tell his mother, Mother, the Lieutenant Governor came to my school today. What did he look like? I don't know. There was a good looking lady in military uniform standing on the platform. But it was the Chinese guy looking all the talk. Uh, in accepting this award, I'm very, very proud to be a Chinese Canadian. Because if you remember, a hundred years ago, we went through a lot of experience, bad experience, such as those labor forces that built the Canadian Railway. The Prime Minister chose to make us a formal apology in 2006. And I guess uh, we finally got recognition from the Canadian government that we did contribute significantly to the well-being of Canada. Uh, but now, when you see new immigrants, entrepreneurs that came to Canada, they helped to pay the tax roll. Only 3% representation in Canada was the Chinese Canadians. And yet, the Chinese language is the third most popularly speaking language in Canada. And I'm very proud to be a Chinese Canadian in that, that I'm the third Lieutenant Governor that was uh, being installed in Canada. The first one as David Lamb, the Honorable David Lamb uh, in British Columbia. The second one was a football star. Know, in the name of the so-called the Chinese clipper, Donald Paul. And yours truly is the third one and the first one in Manitoba. Uh, I feel that the Chinese have innovations in all kinds of uh, business uh, uh, entrepreneurs. And uh, basically, they have the stamina. If they don't succeed, they try, try again. Such as the people who try to market setting up, they started with one up. Not successful, second up, third up, until they reached seven up and they stopped and that started to sell. So, you know, 
the Chinese have that kind of perseverance and will survive. And I'm glad to, to see you all tonight here to celebrate the 19th anniversary. And I also brought with me friends whom you might extend your, the invitation to have associate uh, or affiliations such as from coast to coast. You have people from, from Victoria or from Vancouver, British Columbia. I have a friend from Nova Scotia there, Eric Young, you know, that you came from Nova Scotia. Maybe someday you will form your association there as well, as well as my family, you know, which is in 40, number 48 table. So again, I want to thank you very much uh, for, your, for the honor you impose on me, uh, as my term of office will terminate very quickly in a few months' time, but I'm always proud to be uh, former Lieutenant Governor of Manitoba after my retirement. Thank you, Messi Buku Dojanaga. Thank you very much, the Honorable Philip Lee.